Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. On this beautiful morning here in Gafea in Spain, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life, I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a travel tip, I have a trading tip, talking about the news, of course, answering one of the questions of the followers and yes, giving some inspirational quote at the end, guys. A cool video, full with information. Make sure you watch it till the end and start, please, by giving it a thumbs up and already sharing it with your friends and family because we need to reach 75k followers or subscribers before bitcoin will reach 75k guys let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to bitcoin and also on this beautiful morning here in Gafea, spain bam the first chart for the day guys is this four hour chart on the four hour chart we can see that that red area over there is becoming our main support area. If we break that, guys, I will zoom out and you can see that the red area moves to its 52K level. At the moment, that is not in the question yet. Like for now, I think still we have a, a beautiful area of support over here. We even tried to create a green four hour candle. Now again, a red. We can see the wicks are going higher and higher and higher over here. So there is a trend reversal happening. I think on the bottom, we can also see the yellow decreasing. The blue line starts to go up again. The white line starts to curl. So that could be an amazing uh, bottom that we found there at 57,000 US dollar. I will come back to this later again and to show you a little bit more information uh, on the other chart, guys. But if we look now back to the chart I showed you yesterday, we can see on the daily chart, you know that trend line that I drew yesterday, that we are still finding support. This candle is going to close in 17 hours. Let's see if that candle closes above that dotted line. I think that's the very important part. Is the line drawn perfectly? No, nah, maybe here could move a little bit down maybe but guys we need to close this candle above that dollar line to keep that line of support of that trend that we started already in october 2023 so that's a long trend that we have been following let's keep support over there guys if we look to the weekly we can see on the weekly yes that higher low that i drew like a couple of days ago is now being made you know, I don't know if you remember that video, I think the video is like a week or two weeks ago. I tell, told you guys that green line, that's 50 weekly moving average, that's the line that probably will be the target. And that was exactly the target, 60,000 US dollar. Now, that is what we call a higher low still. You know, that green line I drew over here, this one that was already saying, hey, we will go down a little bit, touch that higher low, and then try to go up again on the weekly to create a higher high. At the moment, it's exactly playing out like I said. And this 50 weekly moving average should be the support. It should be the support. So let's keep it above that uh, 56,965 with a weekly candle. The candle is going to close in three days and 18 hours. So we have some more time um, to wait for that, guys. But in my opinion, we are still in the trend. The moment I will see a lower low than, for example, over here, that is the moment well i will start to worry but that's the moment we are at thirty-five thousand us dollar or something or maybe at forty thousand us dollar again that's when i really start to worry because then the trend is reversing at the moment just an amazing opportunity to buy the dip let's jump into some more amazing charts this one is showing you the bitcoin doubling days per range um it explains to you how many days we stay in each price range. So we stayed 624 days in the range of 32,000 to 65,000. In the range of 65 to 130,000, we will now spend 39 days. As you see, every cycle again and again, these days increase because there will be more days spent in this area over here around uh, 32 to 65 if the bottom in the next bear market will be in those areas. And of course, all the days that you spend in between them now is also being uh, count to this uh, bar on this side. But there will be a moment that we will leave this bar and we'll go to the bar of 65 to 130k. And then those days will start to increase. And maybe if we are lucky, we will even have a couple of days between 130 and 260 over there. And maybe there, even 30 days will be at the result after this bull market. But believe me, in the end, we will see days where we will be in this bar over there. We will be at a million dollars per Bitcoin. It's just playing out. Just imagine that we were at these levels. Do you really think that at that moment we believed that these days would be filled? 
and then we were around thousand or two thousand dollar. Do you really think in those days we still believed ah this is also going to be filled with six hundred days above thirty k? Every time again and again we don't believe that these days will be filled, and the result is that all of these bars over there will start to appear and will be filled with days. Yes, we will reach five hundred k per Bitcoin. Yes, we will reach a million dollar per Bitcoin. This chart is showing the realized price by age, so we can see uh, the one week to the one month that the realized price is 66k, the one month to three month is 62k, the three month to six month realized price is uh, 42k, and the market realized price is 27.3k. Um, at the moment, we are finding support at that 66.7k level over there. This is a chart that shows you a little bit how I think that we will uh, move on on this bull market. So we had this first two, three phases over here now. We are bottoming out on this line over there. It's also like another trend line that I just showed you. And then we will create the next phase and one more phase. And that will be the top, of course. The top will somewhere be around that line. And my honest opinion, it will be between 120 and 160K. We can also see this in the RSI, yes, the RSI, if you look at the trend line, is a downward trend line, but still we are just over here. We still need to go over there in 2025, guys, all the way to the top of that trend line of the RSI again, and that will make sure that we will well go in the price over here till 120 to 160k, in my honest opinion. Very simplified chart, I found it on Twitter, but very easy to understand how it every time plays out again and again and again. Yes, the angle of growth, is decreasing from 53 to 40 to 30 to 21. So yes, that's an equal decrease of that growth curve. So yes, this should be possible. And don't be mistaken, this level is way higher than this level. It doesn't look like higher, but this was 20K and this was 70K. So that level is three times higher than this. This is also around three times higher than that. So that's around 151, 80K. I believe that 120 to 160k there, that area should be the top somewhere. But the indicators will tell us, and I will tell you. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. I needed to go inside because somebody decided to start to mow the lawn at 7 or 8 a.m. now in the morning. This is like way too early to mow the lawn, guys. So I need to do it inside for the noise. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Of course, short term, yeah, we were all shaken because we dropped from 70k all the way to 57k now where we are finding support. I added to my portfolio yesterday again. I thought to buy some Bitcoin. I will also answer how I bought Bitcoin because a lot of people say, hey, how can you buy if you're all in? I will answer that question later in this video, guys. I did add to my portfolio because I believe we will go higher to higher highs in the next 12 to 18 months. And yes, we could dip to 52K, but if we reach 52K, I will add to my portfolio again at that moment. I will dollar cost average into Bitcoin all the time. And I think everyone should do that at this moment because we are just past the halving. There has not been one bull run that finished just after the halving. It always took 16 to 18 months after the halving for the bull run to reach its top. So why would I doubt now? If of all the bull runs that we've seen in Bitcoin, we always took around 17 months to go to the next stop from that halving. Why would the bull market stop now? That's the secret of Bitcoin. You should keep dollar cost averaging as every four years, a capital will be worth more. It's not gonna take one week or two weeks. Maybe it will take 15, 16, 17 months. Maybe it will only take two or three months. But one thing is for sure, every four years, your capital will be higher. The 2028 halving will be higher than 63K. The 2029 top will also be higher than the top that we will see now in 2025. Simple as that. Calculate in four-year cycles. The trading tip today, guys, is about the Fibonacci tool because a lot of people asked me yesterday, hey Didi, what was that again? The tool that you used to find the support and the resistance? So I will show you on the screen so you completely understand what the Fibonacci tool is and also how it works in TradingView. So let's jump now into TradingView to show you exactly how I use the Fibonacci tool. Now over here you can see now that the Fibonacci is already drawn. I will delete that one from the screen so you can see how I do it. So we can clearly see this was the last area where we went sideways. This was the bottom of that sideways movement over there and this was the top of our current move. 
So if you go to the left here on the screen, you will find a Fibonacci retracement tool. You take that one and you can draw them, for example, from here, from that bottom to the top with a one line. You see the number one? That is what I always put on the top. And if you put that on the top, that number one, something, I use the body now, then you can see that those levels of the Fibonacci retracement tool are pretty, pretty correct. Look, here we dropped exactly and found support around the 0.618 level. When we broke that support, now we are falling exactly to the level of 0.5. This level is also referred as the golden pocket, so here should be the biggest amount of support. Now, could we fall to the 0.3? Yes, that is exactly that 52k level. Look how beautiful that Fibonacci retracement tool works. So that is how the Fibonacci tool works, guys. And you, of course, can also use it the other way around. But do your own research. Go to Google. There's a lot of videos over there on how exactly to use the Fibonacci tool in the best way, which numbers. Because you can, if you double click it, guys, and you can adjust it completely. You can say, for example, I don't want to see this level or I don't want to see that level, you know, and then there will be a less full screen. Um, so make sure you use the settings that you prefer the most. Now that was the trading tip for today. The Fibonacci tool is a beautiful way to find support and resistance levels. Uh, let's bring it over here to this one, to 1 1.618. That would be amazing, of course. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Smile. You just need to smile. Whenever you're traveling, smile. Smile to the people that you see on the street. Smile to the people that are working in the restaurant, their asses off for you to prepare your dinner. Smile to everyone during your travels. When you're smiling, you're really signaling that you're open to contact. That is how you meet new people. You will not meet new people by being No, when you smile. Hey, how are you doing? How is your day? Amazing food. Just smile. Smile will open so many doors people still don't realize that. I see people walking here on the streets, or on the boulevard, or in the center. Like, I'm forced to be on holiday. I don't want to be here. It's so boring. Like this. You won't come into contact with friendly people. You won't attract nice, friendly people. You will attract those people when you walk the boulevard and you smile, hey, good day. Like we were in Australia. That was the strangest experience for us as well, because we are always friendly. We are always smiling. But then everyone in Australia says, hey, good day, mate. Hey, good day, mate. It's like, I didn't know them, but everyone was saying to me, hey, good day, mate, good day, mate. But that gave you this happy feeling, this beautiful feeling, like, hey, everyone is saying good morning to you. Why is that not happening over here? And that is not happening in many places in the world. Let's agree, if you walk the streets, most people are on their telephone, or looking for money, or walking around like grumpy. Try to smile. That's my travel tip today. Just try it today. Go out and smile. Whenever you see people, smile. Not if they are fighting each other. And don't smile like that. Say, hey, hey, stop. <laughs> but just normal situations, normal circumstances. Try to smile a little bit more. Smiling will make other people smile, will make your day way more beautiful, and you will be attracting a lot of positive people around you that also want to smile. And together then you smile about all those stupid issues in the world that most people are discussing about. You know what I said yesterday? Our mind is fooling us to make everything seem very important and very serious. When you start to smile a little bit more, you will attract all those people that also smile on all that news. And then understand, hey, fuck that news. Let's just enjoy this beautiful day, this beautiful lunch, this beautiful breakfast, this beautiful walk on the boulevard, and let's just smile. We are happy. And we don't wear any face diapers anymore. So yes, people can see the smile again. So now the diaper is gone, you can start smiling again. So my travel tip for the day, bam, smile. And if you have difficulties with smiling in the morning, then uh, listen uh, the song of uh, Bobby McFerrin. Uh, you know that one? Yeah, let me know which song it is down below and maybe you will win a Bitcoin t-shirt. Thanks. Let's jump now into the next part. Two questions of the followers today that I'm going to answer. One was a comment. The comment was like, hey, Didi, how can you still buy these dips if you're all into Bitcoin? Now, I want to explain that because most people are wondering the same. And the explanation is very simple. Um, with all the work that I'm doing, for example, YouTubing, for example, all the other influencers' business, for example, the trading that I do, for example, my bots that are trading, for example, the selling of the T-shirts, of all that work, I earn USDT. I earn stable coins. 
And I need to convert these stable coins like every now and then in these dips to Bitcoin. So that's how simple we do it. I never stopped working. I kept supporting this revolution to the fullest 24 seven as a family, even with an Amazon Prime series. I hope you all watch this Amazon Prime series. It's soon gonna go live also international. Um, but if you, you can also watch it like with a VPN, of course, in the Netherlands, but I kept working. I kept earning USDT, I kept earning Bitcoins, I kept earning Ethereum, Litecoin, Chain, I kept earning all of the tokens just by working my ass of 24-7, even during the bear market. I am investing in a lot of projects. Of course, that result is always in the token of that project. And if I make profit with a project, yes, I will take some profit and convert it again to Bitcoin. So I'll keep adding Bitcoins in each and every dip because Bitcoin is my leading capital, is my king when it comes to monetary systems. Of course, in real life, I have a queen and a queen that is upstairs in bed, of course. Yes, and uh, also three princesses and a little princess dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I want to say. I'm not going to repeat it because you all know and by now what kind of dog we have. But uh, yeah, so in cryptocurrency, we have a king and the king's name is Bitcoin. And that is my core capital. I don't treat euro or dollar as my capital like most of you do. You mostly use Bitcoin to make profits, to go back into euros, and then again to lose those euros because of inflation. That's not what I do. I use Bitcoin like you're using the dollar and the euro. That's my core capital. Everything will be in Bitcoin. And when I go to Spain, hmm, I will exchange a little bit of Bitcoin to euro when needed. Okay, and then I will use this euro and I have euros left, bam, it goes back in Bitcoin. Of course, it becomes more easy nowadays with these debit cards because then you only pay the exact amount in euros or in Thai baht or whatever currency it is on the latest possible moment because you will stay into Bitcoin all the way till you spend something with that card. And so it becomes more simple to use Bitcoin as your core capital. And I think everyone should do it. So that is the answer to that question, how I'm still able to buy these dips. Like I yesterday did, I again bought the dip, 75,600 or something, not even the best dip, but I will keep buying these dips whenever I have time. During the day, bam, I will buy that dip. And the second question was one of the followers asking me, hey Didi, you are in Torre Vieja now. I see you already changed now to a new city. Uh, was Torre Vieja not that Bitcoin city that you expected? What happened? No, nothing happened. My brother and sister, they are here on their holiday in uh, Jafea. So I uh, decided to visit them. Also some other family members are here and I want to do some dinners together you know, to connect again and to see all my family members again. That is why we were here for a week and we rented this beautiful villa over here, guys. Um, Torre Vieja till now has not like been what I expected. I don't see any Bitcoin adoption aside of a few Bitcoin ATMs, a beer coin cafe, and that's it. I don't see a community yet. I can't find online communities in Torre Vieja. There is no Facebook groups, no Telegram groups. I don't see meetups happening in Torre Vieja, and I definitely don't see any Bitcoin acceptance in stores yet in Torre Vieja. So the article that I read and that all of you read is for me at the moment not like really the truth yet. I still need to find all those places that want to be converted by the government into accepting Bitcoin. I didn't see anything of that. Maybe if someone is watching this video from Torre Vieja, I will be back in Torre Vieja in a week or so. And yes, and I will stay there for a couple of months. So maybe you can hook me up to the person that is doing all that stuff or that is behind all that like adoption curve that should like happen in Torre Vieja. But I haven't seen anything yet aside of a beer coin cafe. Yeah, that's it. That's kind of it. And like a couple of ATMs. ATMs that charge way too much they charge 10% above the normal price. If the Bitcoin price is 60,000 euros, they charge 66,000 euros. That's not a Bitcoin ATM. That's not what we need in this community. We need to be able to use these ATMs in a non-KYC and as cheap as possible and not maxing out at 2,000. And we not only need to be buying Bitcoins, we also need to be able to sell Bitcoins to the ATM. So I don't see the adoption yet. Maybe the adoption will grow in the summer or something, but I will find out. If not, um, yeah, then we at least try it. And maybe we need to come back like in five years time um, to see if then Torre Vieja is doing better. The news for today is that Bitcoin made a new record when it comes to processing payments in a day. We did 1.6 million payments in one day. Yeah, you heard it right. Not 1.6 million dollar. We did 1.6 million confirmed payments in a day. A lot of them were also, of course, runes payments, 
because there was a lot of traction on the blockchain because of runes. Runes went live around the halving and that's causing a lot of transactions, of course, on the Bitcoin blockchain. But by now, like there was only the, the first two days, like runes were like 30% of the transactions or something. Now already runes is only 18% of transactions and the rest is real Bitcoin confirmed payments, transactions. 1.6 million a day is a new all-time high for Bitcoin. So it won't take long before we will see a new all-time high in these prices as well. The more Bitcoin is being used, the more demand there is, the less offer there will be because of these halvings, the more the price will need to grow. The less the supply will be because the halving again made sure that we will have less Bitcoins available, new Bitcoins every day, the demand is growing, the supply, the new daily supply is decreasing. This will lead to a supply shock and it will lead into a huge increase of the Bitcoin price. That's a very simple calculation that happens every time again and again and again. So for me, it's very simple. When I see these new all time highs, even in a transaction on the Bitcoin blockchain, and if it is because of runes, I will deep dive into runes. And I will do this deep dive very effectively because I don't have that much time. But runes will be a very important step for Bitcoin. Just imagine everything in the last four to eight years that has been built on Ethereum or any other blockchain can now also be built on the Bitcoin blockchain. Not only non-fungible tokens, but also fungible tokens. So you can now create tokens as well on the Bitcoin blockchain, not only images. That's a very big shift for Bitcoin. So that will lead to more adoption to Bitcoin and more usage of the Bitcoin blockchain. And of course, many projects starting to build on that Bitcoin blockchain. And those projects that want to start to build on the Bitcoin blockchain that could be funded by a lot of billionaires and millionaires that stepped aside for a long time because they could not invest anymore in Bitcoin. Because you need to understand OGs, a lot of OGs that went into Bitcoin a very long time ago, they stopped investing because they were all into Bitcoin and they didn't want to invest in all the projects building on Ethereum. They don't believe in the Ethereum blockchains and all those tokens. But now that the Bitcoin blockchain will allow projects to be built on the Bitcoin blockchain, believe me, those old fashioned OGs and wills, they will come back and they will start to invest again because their only passion, their only belief is in the king Bitcoin. Very big news for Bitcoin. So yes, new ultimate in the amount of a pay confirmed payments in one day. I still need to stay inside guys because it's still too much noise outside um, and I also need to stay in this position because if I move too much, look, the sun will come and shine very brightly in the camera. Um, the inspirational quote for today guys, life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Everything you hear, everything you see, everything you smell, everything you do, everything you experience will lead to the creation of yourself. So you need to make sure that all those things that I just mentioned are positive. The more positive you look at life, the more positive you will create yourself. You need to become a very positive person instead of a negative person. That's something that leads to a lot of happiness in your daily life. Don't go wander off and search for yourself. It's not that difficult. If you want to search yourself, just look in the mirror and you see yourself and keep standing there and keep watching and looking in, and keep looking into your eyes and your own eyes. And there will be a moment that you will start to find yourself, I think, I hope. Why would you be searching for yourself if you can really create yourself? Just go sit there, look at the sea. What kind of life would I would like to have? How would I want to be as a person? Not what other people want, not what your family wants or other people expect of you to be. What do you want to be? And if you answer that question to yourself, hey, I would like to be traveling around the world, or I would like to be the CEO of some kind of bank, you won't be watching these videos probably then, <laughs> or whatever it is, you can create that version of you. Go for it. Start to do things that will lead to being dead and stop doing all the things that are the opposite. Of course, you can do all the stuff that you're doing daily, your job, your passions, your hobbies. But if that is not part of the version of you that you want to become, then you need to stop doing that and start doing all those things that will create your new you. I have also been on the path of finding myself. Of course, I did ayahuasca. I did all of that stuff. 
Of course, that's all beautiful. And of course, it helps with structuring your brain again and make everything a little bit less foggy and understanding the world a little bit better. Of course, that works. And of course, that's also part of finding yourself, like ayahuasca, for example. It's one of my favorite things to do. So that was one of the things that led to huge results for me, ayahuasca. I still own the domain ayahuascaforall.com, I think, or something. If somebody wants to make a website, let me know. But that was just a small part. That was the part that told me, you can create yourself. And then the real work started. Of course, you can use ayahuasca or a shrink or me as a YouTuber to tell you what to do, but then you need to start doing that. Whatever you take or whatever you try to experience how life could be, when you come back to the earth, you need to start doing that. So you need to grab life by the balls. That's how I say it always, because I read a book of a good friend of mine that was written and the book title was Grab Life by the Balls, a Dutch writer. So if you did all of that stuff, you know, if you did hug trees and if you did go to a horse that needed to tell you what to do, and if you did do ayahuasca 20,000 times, and if you did all of kinds of experimental shamanic stuff to understand what life is about, then now the step two is to start living life. Now you need to start to grab life by the balls. Now you need to do all of those things to create that version of you that you want to become. You can't just sit at home now, oh, I did everything, now it should happen. It won't go like that. It just shows you the path, and then you need to start to walk that path. And when you start to walk the path, then the things will start happening. So in my opinion, it's very important in life that you understand that life is not only about finding yourself, life should be about creating yourself. Whatever you do, whatever you smell, whatever you hear, whatever you read, whatever you see, whoever you meet, whatever activities you do, they will all collectively create you and you just need to make sure that you do all kinds of things that lead to the right version of you that you want to become that was the inspirational part for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video for today uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment and let me know what do you think about all the things that i talked about in the video hopefully tomorrow i can be outside again uh, because it's very beautiful weather the sun started to shine again last two days were a little bit cloudy so yes today tomorrow and the next couple of days i will be enjoying all my family over here and it will be amazing we will have dinners we will go to the beach and all that kind of stuff guys so i'm a little bit less online uh, but it's a boring market you should be buying these dips nothing else thanks for watching i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again bam